guys. Ah, dripping on my wing. It is a beautiful morning. So, winds are calm, sun is just popping up over these trees, and um, we're gonna go for a little flight. Okay guys, those are two new additions I added to my paramotor. One is a toolkit, the other is called a parapack. Um, so let's get in the air and find out what those are all about. Peace. All right, guys. So, got a pretty decent layer here. I've got like a pretty crazy southern wind at like I don't know, thousand feet, 800, 900 feet, and then you can see all this fog just sitting over the trees here. So, I'm expecting to hit something a little bumpy here. But anyway, the parapack. Okay, so recently I have needed a first aid kit while flying, and have needed a toolkit while flying, and did not have either when I needed them. So the first was a toolkit. A couple buddies of mine, we flew out to an airport. I made a video about it. But while we were there, one of my buddy's uh, paramotors wouldn't stay running. And we diagnosed it. It was simple as a, a low idle. But we had nothing on us to adjust the idle. We, we tried using credit cards. No one had a screwdriver. Nothing worked. So we just had to, you know, improvise and you just kept down the throttle while he's on the ground, you know, started the engine right before he was ready to take off and kind of just kept flipping the throttle to keep it running until he got in the air. So not ideal, but we worked around it. But it was kind of eye-opening because it was like, well, you know, if that would have been worse, he'd have been stuck out there. And again, that's just a giant inconvenience. So you just got to go get him, but it would have been a bummer for him. So kind of a, an easy lesson to learn. Secondly, uh, about a, I don't know, maybe a week ago, uh, I came out to fly one morning no wind morning and I was launching my Z-Blade and I had my Z-Blade at neutral trims which is not the ideal launch but I wanted an easier inflation but the Z-Blade kind of needs that extra lift you need to have your trims all the way in on nil wind days but I thought I could cheat it so long story short I tried running it out I was in a full sprint trying to get that lift oh there's a deer down here somebody and I didn't have the lift but I was in a full sprint so I had to take a knee um, so I took a knee on pavement and I'm actually wearing the same pants right here you can see the hole in my pants and so I kind of like, I ripped my pants and cut my knee up pretty good. And I kind of wish I had had a band-aid on me at the time. Because uh, I kind of had to let the blood soak into my pants. So, went home, immediately put a toolkit on my paramotor after the first incident. And after this next incident, I don't even know how it happened. Oh, I think I posted a picture of my toolkit. And the guys at Aviator, PPG, in uh, Florida reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in trying out their Parapack. So, this is a uh, basically a first aid kit specifically designed for paramotorists. So I mounted that up, you guys saw that earlier in the video. So I got my toolkit and my parapack mounted up on my paramotor. And I'm figuring this is a good place, there's no one here today, no construction, to simulate an emergency landing. And um, we'll go through the pack when we get down there. I'll take everything off and show you guys what's in there and then we'll take back off and go home. So let's find a good place to land. 
get a good feel for wind on the ground. So in a real emergency situation, you obviously would not have this luxury, but I'm not really trying to get into a situation where I need someone to come pick me up. So if there's something going on on here, I want to know about it. Oh man, it's like the whole field's soaked. Does that look dry? Well, I guess we could foot drag it and find out. Oh, you've got little wind socks for me on the ground. Oh, nice. All right, so just give a quick foot drag here, test it out, and see how it is. Oh yeah, that's dry. All right, let's go up, simulate our emergency landing. In this particular emergency, you gotta, you gotta imagine something happens with the motor. For whatever reason, I'm not prepared. My bailout options are limited. I have them, but they're not ideal, so it's going to be a rough landing, and I might cut my leg, or I don't know, I need to run into one of these rusty things and need to sterilize it and fly home. Maybe my wife is out of town for the weekend, and I don't have any friends anymore, no one to come pick me up. I got my parrot pack, I got my toolkit, it's all good. Alright, so you're flying along, flying along, oh my god, no! My motor died. My trim's in. I want that glide. I'm gonna spot land this baby over here. Okay. Not a bad emergency. I'm on the ground safely line over my cage but that's okay so you're here you're wondering what the hell just happened it's actually <laughs> a messy landing so it worked out okay it's just one line there we go okay so motors off now don't know why gotta fix it I'm not gonna take anything apart you guys get the idea so first things first, I hurt my leg when I landed. Oh shit. Okay, so let's dig into this. So this is the parapack right here. I don't know if it comes with mounting instructions. If it did, I didn't read them. But it's pretty self-explanatory. It comes with this little red thing here. You can break that off. Unclips. And this Velcro thing stays attached to the paramotor. So this is the parapack here, guys. Nice little case. I mean, standard canvas case. Extra pocket for stuff if you need it. That comes off if you ever do want to take it off. I don't know why you would. And then just dig in. Okay, so. comes. I, I kept these in here because I knew I was going to be doing this today. So I'm going to add that back on. Okay, so we have a wrap, a bunch of gauze pads, Z-Pack in here. Looks like a pretty decent quality turn kit. I actually don't even have one of these at home. So if you did have a, a you know a pretty serious issue where you were gushing blood, I mean, you're probably not taking back off of the tourniquet, but you could at least um, help you or your buddy out while, um, you know, emergency services are coming. That's pretty nice. Comes with some shears. <clears throat> uh, looks like tweezers, um, aspirin, ibuprofen, get a headache while you're flying, boom. No big deal. Some compressed towels and a bunch of Band-Aids in here. Again, I'm not going to dig into that. Comes with a Sharpie. I don't know why this is in here. I guess... Maybe if you want to label something or you're feeling artistic, you want to draw some stuff while you land. I don't know. CPR face shield. Um, that's good to have. See some rubber gloves. Extra bag. Um, a whistle. Looks like an emergency blanket if you're flying when it's cold and you get stranded somewhere. That's pretty nice. Um, a credit card knife. This thing's pretty cool. Dig this. So you unlock this. Oops. Flip that out. Flip. Flip that out. Flip it all like that. Boom. Got yourself a nice little knife. So I've got my hook knife on my paramotor. And then I guess if you needed a knife or something else, you got that as well. That's actually really nice to have on you. Because I don't fly with a knife in my pocket. Um, okay. And it looks like that's about it. Um, some tweezers. And you could put, I mean, there's enough room in here to put other things if you wanted to. Um, but that's honestly great. The other day would have been awesome to have this. I could have sterilized my knee, put one of these giant band-aids on it, um, maybe taken an ibuprofen. <laughs> Probably not, but you know what I'm saying. That that would have been really convenient to have on me. Um, really convenient. 
And obviously having a wrap with gauze pads is always awesome in case you have a, an injury that's bigger than what a band-aid can take care of. So that oops, is awesome. I'm actually really, really excited. So huge thank you to the guys at Aviator PPG for this. Um, I'm really excited. I'm easily the most prepared uh, pilot in my group now. So I'll be the guy landing and helping people out if I ever need to. So whoops. Huge thank you to those guys at Aviator PPG. Okay, so... Oops. Okay, first criticism. That broke. <laughs> That's okay. I'll tie that back on later. Okay. So you're all set. You have mended your wounds. You have used your CPR certification that you got at work a couple months ago. Actually, funny story. I did get certified in CPR. So I took a class on it, and I got certified. And that literally... The next week, some guy at my gym, an older guy, uh, leaned on a door, and the door swung open, and he was tired from working out, and he fell out of the door and split his arm open, and um, it was pretty nasty, and everyone was like, standing around him, looking at him, like, oh my god, his arm split open, I was like, what the hell is everyone doing, so I ran over there, I picked the dude up, I looked at his elbow, and there was like a hole in his elbow, I could see into his bone, and it was like shattered pieces of cartilage in there, it was nasty. Had a huge flap of skin like hanging off, but it was all dead. It was all white. And so I grabbed him. I ran him over to the desk. I was like, "You guys got a, someone trained in first aid?" They said, "No." I'm like, "Okay." Um, well, you got a first aid kit, and they pulled out this old first aid kit, and I ended up like actually, um, cut, I mean, I took some shears. I cut that skin off because it was dirty from the dirt on the ground. I sterilized his his arm. It was bleeding pretty bad. Wrapped him up, and I said, "Look, dude, you got to go to the hospital." He's like, "It doesn't hurt." He was like, "85 years old." He's like, "It doesn't hurt." I was like, "Look, man, the next place you go is the hospital. Do you need me to drive you there?" He's like, "No, I can drive." I was like, "Are you sure?" And he seemed articulate. And he, you know, he was talking to me just fine. So, but he was he was for sure messed up, man. Um, I actually haven't talked to him since then, so I don't know what happened. But I'm guessing he broke his elbow. But it felt pretty good. I was like, "Hey, I get to use my first aid skills." So anyway, back to this. My toolkit. So this one's not as easy. Actually, yes, it is easy to take off. I'll take it right off. Boom, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so the other day when we needed this, this would have been awesome to have. So here's what's in my toolkit. I'll put it on the ground. Okay, so I have all the parts of the standard Viterazi toolkit. I just took them out of that little bag and put them in here. So you got your uh, all your, like, I don't know what these are called. I guess, like, little levers for the uh, spark plug tube. Um, I got a whole bunch of different, um, all the different sockets that I need for my paramotors are 10, 8, 7, 6, whatever, all the metrics. A couple extra zip ties, um, a little standard screwdriver that's specifically for <laughs> adjusting your idle. All the wrenches that come with the Viterazi toolkit. I have a ratchet, this, um, I don't even know what else. I have some rolled up duct tape somewhere in here. I just took some duct tape and rolled it up just in case you need that. But literally everything you need to take apart, the Moster 185 is in this toolkit. Obviously it wouldn't be ideal, but in a pinch... That's all you need. And it's not that heavy. I'd say that's probably maybe a pound and a half, two pounds maybe with everything. So that gives me some serious peace of mind. And again, I just strapped this right to here. There you go. Zip tie. And again, you can just break that off when you need to take it off. But boom, that's not going to move. So cool. That's about it. Um, nothing else really to see right here. Got this set up really nice. Got my pair pack on that side. And I got my toolkit on that side. All right, so that's it. Emergency averted. I'm all patched up. I had my emergency landing, and I'm really glad that everything worked out as it did. And I'm still not seeing any wind, so I'm going to take off in the same direction that I landed. Okay, happy with that layout. Plenty of room. All right, crisis averted. So now I'm stoked. Wounds are healed. Paramotor is running great again because of my handy dandy emergency toolkit. Now all I gotta do is hit the launch. Oh yeah. Oh man, she's running great. I'm convinced that I have fixed the issue. Pretty launch, but I'll take it. So big thanks to the guys at Aviator PPG for sending out that para pack. 
Obviously, if you guys have questions on that, you know who Aviator is. Just Google them um, and reach out to them if you guys want a first aid kit that's built for paramotors. I think they have a level above this that comes with like flashlight and things like that. So it's just a nice all-in-one kit. So big thanks to those guys. And then my toolkit, big thanks to the guys at Fly PPG because they're the ones who hooked me up with that Viterazzi toolkit. And I just added a few extra things to make it a little easier. Ratchet, some duct tape and stuff like that. So that's it guys. Thanks Aviator PPG. Thanks Fly PPG. Love all the support. Well, of course my camera died, so I didn't catch my landing, but it was nice. Beautiful day, just a light, light, light breeze. Made for awesome landing. So, I'm gonna wrap this one up here, guys. Huge thank you to the guys at Aviator PPG for sending me out that Parapack and letting me try it out. Up until recently, I didn't really fly with any tools or a first aid kit or anything like that, and I had to kind of learn it the hard way. Like I said, it wasn't, these weren't two giant issues, but they were a little bit eye-opening for me and kind of made me think about what I would do in a, maybe a worse situation. So I have run out of fuel places. I have landed out. Um, never been, really been injured, fingers crossed, but uh, it's not to say it can't happen. So I feel better than I'm prepared now. And um, I'm also going to be able to help out buddies if anything um, were to happen while they're flying. So I feel good about that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching like subscribe follow me on Instagram at Tom Kubot again I post a lot more there than I do on YouTube and um, Yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace So I got the pair pack over there Toolkit on that side and I get a lot of questions about this. What is that they say? So this is this is an aftermarket um, Fuel level indicator. So you've got your you got your half tank mark there um, Nice viewing windows on either side here um, it's pretty good. It's got a little bit of lace on the edges so you can you can really see through it um, And uh, it's also doubles as a tank retention device So people seem to like it. Uh, it seems to help out. I don't know. 